Hey, what is up mortals? It is Akida here, and before we get into today's video, there's something I'd like to say. I'd like to let you all know that we have a merch store. Some of the items in it are only available for a limited amount of time, so if you're interested, go into the description below and check it out. Each purchase helps us make more content. Now, with that out of the way, let's get into the video. In today's theory video, we will be taking a look into all of the Pokemon games and grouping them all in one timeline. I highly suggest that you should go to our second channel called Anime Deep Dive and watch all two parts of the history of Pokemon to get caught up. Also, while you're at it, we have a Pokemon What If on our main channel called What If My Hero Academia Had Pokemon. If you are interested in this type of content, there will be a link in the description below, or you can click the icon in the top right corner. All the main Pokemon games can be separated into two main timelines in the story, which are the Mega and Non-Mega timelines. We will first take a look at the Non-Mega timeline series of Pokemon games. I'll be using the term Non-Mega timeline to classify any main series game that did not take place during the events of Pokemon X and Y, when the ultimate weapon was fired, leading to the discovery of Mega Evolution. The Non-Mega timeline consists of any Pokemon game from generations 1 through 5. We will first take a look at Generation 1, all Pokemon Red, Blue and Green, which all take place in the timeline which we call Universe Red. Just to be clear, this timeline is part of the non-mega timeline, and it is not its timeline. We know that Generation 1 takes place in its universe because we know that there are only 151 Pokemon available in that generation, and we can also rule out the other generations because there are no Dark or Steel types. As Missing No is a glitch in the Red and Blue games, he does not count for any timeline at all, and won't be mentioned. We also know that Timeline Red is its own timeline, because Kanto is the only region that is known to exist. You might be wondering where Pokemon Yellow is in this timeline. Well, Pokemon Yellow is its own universe, because it has different characters such as Jesse, James and Meowth to mirror the anime. Not to mention it has different mechanics from the originals, such as your rifle starting with an Eevee, and the main protagonist starting with a Pikachu. The Pikachu you obtain follows the main character around as you walk, which is not a mechanic that Gen 1 has. You also don't get to choose the original three starters like in the originals as in the canon. We can also rule this game out from the originals because Giovanni has a Persian, which he does not have in the original games. Now, onto the next timeline, which includes Pokemon Gold, Silver and Crystal. We will simply call it Universe Gold. This timeline is confusing because you may think that Generation 2 is connected with 1. After all, Gen 2 references and makes the player go through Kanto. Timeline Gold remains in the non-mega timeline, but is a parallel universe to the first generations of the game. Universe Gold remains in the non-mega timeline, but is a parallel universe to the first generations of the game, due to the idea that there are alternate Pokemon worlds from the Delta episode. We know that Generation 2 is its own universe, because in Generation 2 they introduced several new mechanics such as gender. Then there were steel types which were added to Magneton and Magnemite, which were originally electric types in Generation 1. Also, Generation 2 showed many other different mechanics than Gen 1, such as the additional Dark types, Shiny Pokemon, Baby Pokemon, the ability for Pokemon to hold items, new Pokeballs, and Poke Rust. We also know that this takes place three years after Universe Gold's version of Kanto, because many of the different NPCs in the games talk about a boy who stopped Team Rocket three years ago. With this, we can assume Universe Gold's version of Kanto is an alternate version of the original Kanto, because of all the new mechanics that were introduced. We also see more evidence about this, since in this generation, the Pokemon Eevee can now evolve into an Umbreon, which is a dark type that wasn't introduced until now. We can also see that this timeline is not the same as the originals, because the original games had a total of 151 Pokemon, which was increased to 251 due to Generation 2 adding 100 new Pokemon. You can also see a massive change in the whole world, with examples like the Indigo Plateau changing the Ghost Elite 4 member Agatha with the Dark Type Elite 4 called Karen and Lorelei, the Ice Elite 4. We see in the games that Lorelei gets replaced by a trainer named Will, who is the Psychic Type Elite 4. But also, during this time frame, Red was originally champion and left to Mount Silver. Lens took his spot as a champion and as Koga, one of the poison type gym leaders of Fuchsia City, take his Elite Four spot. With Koga's absence from his gym, he appoints daughter Jasmine, who was training during the events of Kanto and Pre-Generation 2. 
we know for sure this happens because during the events of Kanto, you can find Koga's daughter in his gym, and when you talk to her, she will talk about how she is being trained by her father Koga. We also know, during the events of Kanto, after Red defeated Giovanni, he disbanded Team Rocket and left his gym, leaving an empty spot for a gym leader. Blue then takes Giovanni's spot as the 8th gym leader sometime during the 3 years between Kanto and Johto. Bef Before we get back into the theory, I would like to say that we've got a second channel called Anime Deep Dive. Anime Deep Dive goes over the hard facts of the anime presented. In case you guys didn't know already, we are a second channel to our main channel, We The Celestials. We Celestials is full of fun stories. If you have the sugar tooth for great storytelling, please give that channel a visit as well. If you are interested in the content we share with all channels, make sure you click the link on the top right corner or check the description below for a link to the channel. Now with that out of the way, let's get back into the theory. We also see that after the three years, Kanto has undergone drastic changes. For example, most of the routes in Kanto were shortened. Viridian Forest is unavailable as an area, being replaced by shrubs located in a small section of Route 2, and Bound Moon is dramatically reduced in size, now consisting of only one base floor with a couple of connectors. Diglett's Cave and the Rock Tunnel have a similar layout as the originals, but got reduced in size. The underground path from Celadon City to Lavender Town has been sealed indefinitely, ostensibly due to vandalism. We also know that a volcano has destroyed Cinnabar Island, leaving a water-filled crater behind. However, the Pokémon Center is still available as usual, as the only building left. However, the Pokémon Center is still available as usual, being the only building left. Blue mentions that the whole town disappeared, which may imply that the Pokémon Center was destroyed and rebuilt. Blue mentions that the whole town disappeared, which may imply that the Pokemon Center was destroyed and rebuilt. Route 23 also has some changes, with the path being reduced to a short path leading between Victory Road's exit and Indigo Plateau. Victory Road's length has been shortened and no longer includes the barriers, boulders, and pressure sensors. No trainers are ever found either, except for the main character's rival. The Cerulean Cave is gone, though a man near the cave ruins does mention the dungeon. A hidden item called the Berserk Gene can be found in the water near its former entrance. We can also infer that these two timelines are connected because the player in Timeline Red cannot catch Mewtwo, Moltres, Zephyrs, and Articuno, which may infer that Red or another trainer may have caught them already. We also know that this timeline is from the universe Red because when the main protagonist collects all 16 gym badges, they can go to Mount Silver and face off Red in one final battle. We know that in the original games, Mount Silver wasn't a thing in Kanto due to it not being on the map. It is also never mentioned in the originals. Since Mount Silver wasn't a thing, we can rule out that Red never went to Mount Silver in the originals due to Johto not existing. Since Mount Silver wasn't a thing, we can rule out that Red never went to Mount Silver in the originals due to Johto not existing. Okay, I know I threw a lot at you, but let's take a look at what the time currently looks like. We have Universe Red containing the game's Pokemon Red, Blue and Green. Then we have Universe Yellow being its universe due to it being more similar to the anime and having different mechanics than Universe Red and Universe Gold. Then we have Universe Gold, which takes place three years after their version of Kanta. This will be the end of this part of the theory for now, because I don't want the video to be too long. So we will continue laying out the timeline in part 2 with the events of all the Game Boy Advance games to the Nintendo DS games. Do you agree with my theory on this so far? Let us know in the comment section below. Thank you all for watching the video to the end. Now there are a few more things that I'd like to go over before this video ends. On behalf of We The Celestials, I'd like to thank the writer for this video, as well as the editors for this video. Their details will be in the description below. For your voice actor, editor or writer, or you're interested in becoming one of those, go to the Discord that is in the description of this video and hit up the head of one of those areas. We're always looking for members to join us. That's it from us for today's video, so thank you all for watching and don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you're interested and hit that like button if you like the video. Until next time, peace out mortals, have an amazing day. This will be the end of this part of the theory for now, because I don't want the video to be too long, so we will continue laying out the timeline in part 2 with the events of all the Game Boy Advance games to the Nintendo DS games. Do you agree with my theory on this so far? Let us know in the comment section below. Eyes in the sky. Gazing far into the night I raise my hand to the fire But it's no use Cause you can't stop it from shining through It's true, baby, let the light shine through If you believe it's true
Don't you let the light 